welcome back. Today I'll show you how to crochet this headband. It's very easy. Uh, I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing, every little step of the way, so everyone can follow, even if you're a beginner. Just go ahead and try. But uh, let's begin. For the materials, I've used an acrylic yarn. It's 100% acrylic and in a dark yellow. It's a size medium weight 4. And the crochet hook I've used is a size 5.0 millimeters. Then I've also used some, a tapestry needle and some scissors. I will leave a link in the description for where you can find all the materials. To begin this we make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. That's your slip knot. Now we do a chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop. That's a chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We will do 83 chains in total. Just like this. Yarn over and pull through. Go ahead and pause the video. And then meet me up when you have 83 of these. When we're done with our chain, we will do single crochet. So we skip the first chain. This is your first chain. And this is your second one. So you insert your hook in the second chain from your hook. And do a single crochet. So you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook in the next chain over here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook in the next chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We will keep doing single crochet for 36 chains. So just do 36 single crochet just like this. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. You can always count on top how many you have done. So this one is your first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 36 in total. And this is how it looks. So after the 36 single crochet, we will do a slip stitch in the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through both. Then we place a stitch marker just to keep track. So we place the stitch marker in the first slip stitch we did and we will do another nine slip stitches. So insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pull through. So do 10 slip stitches in total. This is the middle part of the headband where it crops a bit. So just slip stitch for 10 stitches. And I forgot counting. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's 10. All right, so that's 10 slip stitches. You see they are a bit smaller than the single crochet. Then we do 36 single crochet for the rest of the row. 
So insert your hook in the next chain and do a single crochet. I will also leave a slip stitch in the last slip stitch I did. And then do single crochet for the rest of the row. When we're done with the row, we chain one and turn. So yarn over, pull through, and turn your work. So we will now be working the other way. And we will be working in these stitches on top. But instead of going down through the whole stitch, like we usually do, we will only be working in the back loop. We will still be working single crochet, but we will only be doing it through the back loop of the stitch. So the back loop is the leg of the stitch furthest away from you. So still skip this first stitch, then insert your hook through the back loop of your second stitch from your hook. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a, a back loop single crochet. In the next stitch, we have these two legs as well. Insert your hook through the back loop and single crochet. Again, through the back loop and single crochet. So now we're pushing it back a bit. And we will continue doing back loop single crochet for 36 stitches all the way just before the first stitch marker you meet. And when you make it to the first stitch marker, you remove it. And in this stitch where we did the, the final slip stitch, we will now do our first slip stitch, but only through the back loop. So insert your hook through the back loop of your slip stitch and do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. Then insert your stitch marker again. And continue doing back loop sli uh, slip stitches. <laughs> back loop sli slip stitches. That's hard to say. <laughs> insert your hook through the back loop. Yarn over, pull through, pull through. Insert your hook in the back loop. Yarn over, pull through, pull through. So just back loop slip stitches for 10 stitches. All the way until your next a stitch marker. And that's it. This one will be our final stitch. So just do a slip stitch in the back loop of this stitch. Then insert your slip stitch, uh, your stitch marker again. In the stitch you just did. And then we continue with single crochet for the rest of the row, but only through the back loop. So the next stitch, insert your hook in the back loop and single crochet. So one back loop single crochet for the rest of the row. When you finish this row, you chain one and turn your work. From now on, we will keep continuing the, the previous row. 
So one back loop single crochet in every stitch all the way to the stitch markers. Then we will do one back loop slip stitch for 10 stitches and then back loop single crochet for the rest over and over. Remember to chain one every time you turn the row and skip your first stitch in the beginning of each row. Then go for the second stitch, insert your hook through the back loop of your second stitch, do a single crochet and continue with back loop single crochet in every stitch all the way until you meet these stitch markers then do back loop slip, slip stitches in this little part and back loop single crochet of the rest back and forth until you think your headband is wide enough I did mine around 10 and a half centimeters I like all my headbands to be as wide as that then you leave a bit of a tail and cut the yarn and pull the yarn through your loop then find your tapestry needle and we will now sew it together so fold your headband and they, then we make a seam down the edge just make sure they fit maybe you stretched one of them a little bit then you just make them fit like this I will do the mattress stitch when I sew them together so first I insert the hook on the opposite side of this thread coming out And again, down the middle, between the two pieces, and up the opposite side, from the bottom up. And again, between the two pieces, and up the opposite side, from the bottom up. The mattress stitch is my go-to stitch. I think that's the easiest and the most invisible stitch there is. I almost always use this stitch. So just all the way down. When you're all the way down, you weave in your end. So insert your needle through some stitches. I did four stitches. And then again, underneath the same stitches as you did before, but your thread is coming out right here, so you choose another place to go in, but underneath the same stitches as you went under before. And then again back the same stitches, but go in from somewhere else so you don't just untangle it but underneath the same stitches three times then the rule is that it won't get up so cut your yarn and that's it now you fold it over and you're done with your headband i hope you found the tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon Bye.